Okay, in this example, we're gonna let f of x be negative 2x plus one, and g of x is x squared plus three. We wanna find, okay, part a, f composed with g, looks like the word fog, right? It's f composed with g of two. Okay, so you would read this, f composed, you gotta get used to the language, f composed with g. So the assumption is that's gonna be a function all by itself. And then the parentheses two is just function notation of two. So right away, what you wanna replace the, uh, the composite notation, the, the circle notation with, replace it with what it really means, f of g of two. So this is the more familiar no, uh, function notation. F composed with g of two means, by definition, f of g of two. So every time you see the fog notation, it looks like fog, right? Just replace it with f of g. Anytime you see the Goff notation, replace it with g of f, right? So now work it from the inside out. G of two is a number, right? So think about the function g. Here's the formula for the function g. What would, little scratch work here, what would uh, g of two be equal to? We know how to do that, right? Yeah, so you plug, that means, uh, th this notation means, hey, just wherever you see an x in the formula for g, in x squared plus three, wherever you see that x, plug in a two instead. So it's, it becomes two squared plus three, which is what, what, what you said, seven. Four plus three is seven. So we're gonna work this problem from the inside out. We're gonna replace that g of two with, you know, with what it's equal to. It's, it's seven, right? So f of g of two is just f of seven, isn't it? And now you're to familiar territory, aren't you? What's f of seven? Well, I don't know. Find the formula for f and replace x with seven. That's what that notation means, right? So uh, what, negative two times seven plus one? Does everybody see what I did there? I replaced this x with the seven. So what is that gonna be? Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's negative 14 plus one, which is negative 13. So in other words, f composed with g of two is dun, da, 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 negative 13. If you work it from the inside out, you get to familiar territory function notation real quick. Now, most of the problems you'll see will probably not give you a specific input, like two. Most of them, the input will be x and you have to figure out what the formula is. So uh, just to remind you, uh, f of x is negative 2x plus 1. f of x is negative 2x plus 1. And g of x, I think, was x squared plus, what was it, uh, 3. Okay, so keep those functions in mind as we work through this. Keep those in mind. Okay, f composed with g of x. Right away, what could you replace that notation with? By definition... By definition, f composed with g of x is what? f of g of x. So this, this is just function. When you write f of g of x, that's just function notation. And it's telling you that the input into f is, is now g of x, the, the formula for g of x, if there is a formula, which in this class there almost always is. So work it from the inside out, you guys. Inside out. Inside out. So replace g of x with what it's equal to. What is g of x equal to? Okay, so f of g of x is f of x squared plus three. So I'm using brackets here just to distinguish from the inner parentheses that were there around the x but it's still just function notation. It really, you do read this f bracket x squared plus three as f of x squared plus three. So it really is just function notation at this point. And wherever you see 
and x in the formula for f then, you're going to replace that with that entire quantity, x squared plus 3. So a good way to write it, to get used to it, is to replace the x in the formula for f with a set of parentheses. So instead of negative 2x plus 1, write it negative 2 times parentheses plus 1. And in that set of parentheses, plug in the new input, x squared plus 3. So how do I simplify that? What could I do? Distribute the negative 2. So what does that give me? Negative, negative 2x squared minus 6 plus 1. What does that turn out to be? Negative 2x squared minus 5. Minus five. There you go. So, that's, so guys, what we're saying is this. The new function, when you compose these two functions, f and g, and, and you make the input x, just a generic x, it creates a new function. And the new function formula, f composed with g, the new function formula is negative 2x squared minus 5. That's all we're saying. Now, do you think f composed with g is going to be the same as g composed with f? Well, it is when we multiply, right? But is there any reason? So your instincts say no. Well, let's see if you're right. So right away, write down by definition, what is g of f of x equal to? By definition. g of, now it's g on the outside, f of x is your input. G, so g composed with f of x is g of f of x by definition. So now your input is going to be the formula for f of x. Okay, let's remind ourselves what that was f of x was negative 2x plus 1. So work it from the inside out. I'm going to replace g. I'm sorry, I'm going to replace f of x with its formula, which was negative 2x plus 1. Work it from the inside out. Does that make sense so far? Now, what am I going to do with that negative 2x plus 1 in red there? I'm going to, well, what formula am I, am I going to put it in? I'm going to put it in this formula, right? That's the formula for g. In other words, this is just function notation, you guys. g of negative 2x plus 1, function notation. Regular old function notation. And what it means is the input is now negative 2x plus 1. That's your input into g. Input into uh, the function uh, g. Or it, let's write it this way. Input for, input for g. Right? So you go back up to the formula for G. The input was X, right? But you're going to switch that to uh, the negative 2X plus 1. So what I would do is just write parentheses squared plus 3 to get used to the idea of, of substituting something in for X. Parentheses squared plus 3 instead of X squared plus 3. Parentheses squared plus 3. And in that set of parentheses, you're going to insert the new input, negative 2x plus 1. Does that make sense? Okay. So what could you do with this? What could you do with it? You could foil it out and add the, the constants together, right? So let's use that formula, a plus b quantity squared equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. What do you get? What's uh, that says you square the first guy. What's negative 2x squared? 4x squared. 4x squared. And then because of the minus in front here, you're going to multiply the first guy times the second guy and double it and add that on. But that's adding a negative, so it's going to be a minus, isn't it? So minus 4x. Does everybody see that? And then you square the last guy, add that in, but one squared is one. But then you still have the plus three out here. So what do you get when the dust settles? There you go. Four x squared minus four x plus four. 